Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome back to the Wales Campaign Part 22. And before we get into it, quickly, I must tell you quickly that um, after the last episode, um, it crashed before I ended recording just as I kind of said goodbye to everyone. And it meant that um, I had to reload the autosave. Now, the good thing is most of the stuff I did previously is gone except that last battle. So the army which was at Carlisle is now here. And they're not dead, which is what ha actually happened. So it's a one little difference, one slight uh, discrepancy, which I should mention. So I've actually sent them here now to attack the Baron's Alliance instead. But apart from that, everything else is exactly the same. And we're going to kick on as we left off. So I think we were at the end turn phase. We've actually... Oh, yeah, we've got agents which I need to move as well. So my spy was to go up here. And my diplomat, wherever he is, but here is yes, to go Lord. towards Ireland down Tomorrow's here so we gotta do that again as well i think everything Tomorrow's else was exactly as it was so the bombards go towards carlisle chester is fine lancaster is fine captain iago those axemen joined up with captain riddich and this army in the south gwyn Meredith was going to go up towards the bridge and attack york from that side and i think that is pretty much everything that we wanted to do previously so we have to make the spend of course London could have something, I think, some communal farming, some paved roads, and uh, why not have some Merchant's Wharf as well, because you're worth it. And do we want to retrain stuff here? I don't know. Probably not. Everything else will be fine in London there. And, yeah, we're going to end turn in that case. And then we can kick on with this turn for this part. Let's see what England does in Ireland. See what Scotland does and see what the Barons Alliance does as well. And yep, apart from that, it was just that little difference and everything else is exactly as it was. Don't know what Scotland are doing. They're doing something though. The Barons, oh, you're at Carlisle, what the hell? Got some diplomats running all over the place, the Barons Alliance. They are running scared at the moment. They've just come out of York. And Newcastle upon Tyne. Candidate for adoption. Philip Einion, William Idwal. Brave, promising commander. Yes, we'll have you. Because you're brave and promising. Norway's the most advanced faction. That's strange. End of turn. Noble life ends. Married to thee. Oh, my general in Yorkshire. Married to thee's dead. Oh, no. Don't know where he was. He's dead. Construction report. Okay, so we're going to start off with Ireland in this case. So, uh, my spy, where's he gone? Over there. Where to, sir? Do some spying for me, please. Of course, sir. Right, so there's a settlement there as well. So, Trim and Athenry are going to go there and there, perhaps. Your Diplomat, office, make a small little move here. Yes, sir. Keep going south. Keep going Without south. Question, sire. Oh, I just went past Without a, question, a merchant. Sire. Don't know where the settlements are, Island. I can't remember. Journey planned out, sire. Yes. Could I just take Dublin now, or I want to get those bombards before I sally out from Dublin? As a matter of fact, I should probably get some. U oh, I can't get units from Dublin yet, though. I exterminated the population. I just remembered. Oopsie. Sire. Those bombards can continue the march As forward. Wish, my lord. Time to be very aggressive and. Wipe out this fort. Just gonna piss off the barons as I go along. A nice bridge I can work with here. Let's put ourselves on the bridge. Yes, my liege. Piss them off. Relations worsened. An order. As a matter of fact, the king can probably sally want. around, and I hold the fort. See how long it takes for they to kick, try and kick me off their land. We're just going to try their patience at the moment. I know if I go up there, there's rebels, although saying that, it looks like the Scottish rebels are here, or some of them are here. I wish there was a bridge here somewhere that I could utilise. Oh my god, look at that ballista overkill. Holy shit, we're going to be up against it, against them. Interesting stuff, guys. Interesting yes. stuff. Nottingham's fairly happy with things. Oxford is doing well. Get a gunsmith at Oxford as well. I might. Why not? Build for the sake of it. 
London's got loads of stuff out in Dell. Uh, Norwich, Lincoln. Go to church at Lincoln. Shrewsbury can have a grain exchange. Can have a leather tanner and a brothel because I'm feeling very generous right now. And Cardiff can actually have a port. There we go. I've spent my money for this turn. Not much I can do. Or I could attack, of course. I'm, I'm besieging the English here at the fort, but I'm going to end turn. Let the time tick. And it's going very well. I want to actually check my victory conditions as well. Something I haven't done for a while. I can't remember what they were. I think it's whole 25 settlements and exterminate England. And of course, I've got over 25, but England is still alive. So once I take England out of the equation altogether, then I think we might be there. Oh, actually, with that being said, I don't know if I have 25. Okay, they want me to make contact with Ireland. That's not a problem. We know where they are. Cardiff ready to upgrade. We'll upgrade Cardiff in that case. Upgrade. Thank you. Right. Ireland. Yes, my lord. Yes. That being sir. said, location down there. Okay, thank you for that little cheat. <laughs> that was so. Uh, Your Majesty. Funny Without how that happened. Question, Cork. Sire. Oh, we can't quite make it to Tomorrow's Cork, but we know where they are. We know where Ireland is right now. Tomorrow's journey. Oh, they're pure as well. Sire. Excellent. Go on, Ireland. Fight back. Fight back against the English. Take, retake your lands. I can recruit finally at Dublin, and we're going to get bombards and some more bill men and militiamen. They'll hold up this this uh, Dublin while we sally out and take Trim. With that being said, I can probably take Trim now with what Come I have. Me, sire. Uh, Sire. Not quite a full stack, though, is it? Yes, my lord. Ah, let's attack Trim. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Maintain siege at Trim. Oh shit, the, the Golarge reinforcements. They may have to, to retreat if they butcher, do sire. attempt to attack me. But we are recruiting some new units, and of course I have this. Oh, I, I wanted to put these guys, didn't I? Which is what I did in the last episode. But of course, it's reset since since then. So. Get all of them in the boat. Get that boat towards Dublin. That would be very nice for us indeed. Prince Howell. Reinforce Gwynmardi. Excellent. Gonna goad them into an attack. Oh, look at that. Captain Harold's gone past me, and I'm gonna assault them at the fort. I'm gonna take this fort, give myself strategic points on the map. Another auto resolve, another clear victory. That's another English army gone ours, from this sir. land. And how are we done? Right, we've got that fort now, which is going to help me out tremendously. This spy can do me a favour and go north. Course, Check out what's going on over here. Discretion, Can't see any rebels, apart from the ones in that fort. As I scratch my nose. Those bombards are nearing Carlisle. They're going to be used against yes. Scotland, so that's it. We're our aim there. Okay, uh, spy. Did I use my spy? I think. Is there one up there? Above a Thenry? I've got a feeling there is one. Oh, it's one over here. I think it's um, Derry. There's Derry, isn't it, in the north? As I try to remember my geography. Uh, William Edouard, you're my new general. Any new general gets sent to the death up here. Takes him another turn to get there to reinforce. Actually, you can be sent to the fort. I don't have a general in the fort at the moment. And we'll end turn once more. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy enough to end turn. And then we'll have a battle and we'll have lots and lots of victories, hopefully. As I try and think things through strategically, but not overthink too much, because it hurts your head. It hurts my brain when I overthink. Uh, Barons Alliance are moving towards Carlisle. What are they doing? Another offer, maybe? What are they doing? Haha! <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so they want trade and they want an alliance. My power is supreme. I'm Welsh. I'm very untrustworthy. My relations are abysmal. I think this is the point in the campaign against the Barons Alliance when I say checkmate because you're going to lose. So uh, 
You can't do anything to me. Very well. It was just a suggestion. Rejection. And as expected, they are gonna sally out and they're gonna try and attack me, which I'm not worried about at all because now we've got an opportunity to attack them. So let's just get ourselves Oh my queue's been stolen because I got no money anymore. So we've spent a bit too much, I think. That's fine. Not a problem at all. Okay, this is where the grand stratagem takes place. My bombards could be used against this singular unit. But that being said, I wouldn't mind getting a secondary unit here. They do have some more stuff coming that way. Carlisle can actually... I'm doing this to... Because I, I expect resistance here. Carlisle will need a unit. I can't afford... I'll get a peasant, but for now what I'll do. Right. The grand strategy, part three. Can't afford any mercenaries. You're going to jump in. Marching, sir. Oh, shit. An order. Orders. Sire. Get them in there. You can just be sent to stay this side of the bridge, I think. Mm, go there. Yes, sire. In case anything here. Yes. Or it might have a unit between. Today, Command me, sire. Command me, sire. They are fighting the rebels against Captain Howard. I hold the fort. I have them surrounded now at York. And this army is going to swoop in. With that being said, I could use this army to attack Newcastle. It's, why, it's basically whatever I want to do. I may actually use the Meronoi spears and the bows to go to Newcastle and send the others. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to send you units to go towards Newcastle up this way. By your command, You're sir. gonna join up. As you wish. So you've got a nice strong army to go there. And then these units are gonna go south to reinforce. But I must sort my shit out first. Let's get Ships the ready. ship to Dublin. Yes. Let's auto resolve this bad boy. Oh shit, press the wrong button. They'll wish they'd never been born, sir. Let's have a look. Oh, balance of power is against me. Let's have a siege, guys. Fight this battle and take it. I may have jumped the gun by trying to take Trim this early in the campaign, but I felt confident. I'm actually going to readjust myself. Holy shit. In the chair. There we go. Start deployment. Straight away. No messing about. We're going to jump in. And we are a long way from their gates. Oh, I did jump the gun with this. We have a big battle on our hands here. But we do have what can be described as a shitload of units. Certainly bow units. Which will work in my favour. Let's get all the infantry spearmen grouped up in a formation and put them about there. The cav can be grouped up with the general. And you guys can just pop yourselves um, in a formation just by there to the south. Or to the right, sorry. And all of my bows can actually deploy stakes and that is what I will be doing I think deploy stakes about there start the battle I'm gonna be attacking them on multiple fronts here my bows have started firing get fire on they're all gonna go for the English billmen here I think although the levy spears are the other side now Let's see what happens here. They do have some advantage, although I think my bows... I do have six units of them, which are very strong units indeed. Just hope those towers can get there. I'm confident we can do this. It's, it's very... It's a very hit and miss kind of battle though, isn't it? We only kill like two of their billmen on the walls at the moment. The bill men on the walls aren't really a concern of mine. It's the, the the men behind which are. As a matter of fact, these two units on the flank can be pushed behind and told to halt. Or actually, put them behind and disable fire at will. Because I don't want to use up all my ammunition just yet. And as you can see, the ladders are now in place. They've got men to go into the walls. They're going to try and counteract me on the walls. I 
Gwent Raiders can attack the Armoured Sergeant as we go up here. And now my Merinoid Spears, probably a good time to march them forward because we want to get them involved as quickly as we can along with the cavalry. Now I'm thinking if I grab uh, these two units, group them to a singular group, will be best the gate with a battering ram. attack the Armoured Sergeant on the wall. As my Gwent Raiders the walls. get up the there. Work begins. Armor Sergeants versus Gwent Raiders. Don't like my chances actually, but we do, we are attacking on multiple fronts, so we are going to stretch them slightly. This siege tower is in place. We're just going to quickly look at it, and we are slowly climbing it. We're going to get up there. We're going to attack those Bill men with more Gwent Raiders. I don't think we're going to get through the gatehouse though. That being said, and we have actually routed from the walls here. But we've got through the gates, surprisingly, so that's good news. We can just go straight through in that case. Which is what I'm going to be doing. We're going to march towards those levy spears. I can't charge in with my cav because they are spears, of course. Actually, these units. Where are they? These four units. I wonder if I can get a good shot through there. I'm looking for the best places to fire at the moment. Unfortunately, the walls do give them a massive advantage. Just fly straight through my cab and go for the general. Irish Kearns and Hobbilars are what await us down here. It's a suicidal charge straight through the middle. But one I think I could make on Irish Kearns is a definite possibility. We're going to go down the infantry route though for now. As we fight the Bill men on that flank. As all the spearmen are flying through right now. Attack those levy spearmen there. There we go, lovely. Gonna blob in and shiltron at that uh, forefront there. While we reinforce with all the bows. I have some Gwent Raiders that can be used. And they're gonna be used to come up the wall through the siege tower, I think. To reinforce and help fight the Billmen up here. Oh, you're not gonna go through. Holy shit. You mad bastards. Don't wanna do that. Jump in with them instead. Can't be dealing with idiots. And all of the bows. Unfortunately, we're going to lose men to the boiling oil if we keep up this. We are going to break through those spearmen, though. This is a bit risky, but I think we can do it. Check the balance of power. 7% to 19%. 52 against 25. We do have more Gwent Raiders on the way, hopefully. Need to keep break through. Those Shiltron's going to do us well, though. Scythia Bowmen are really good in these kind of battles, if used properly. We just continue to rain death upon them. We're at a bit of a standstill right now, so I'm going to fast forward slightly so it doesn't drag on too much. But we are starting to break through with our Shiltron. Oh, shit. Let's uh, slow it down slightly. We have a shaken unit here. I think that was the Gwent Raiders, is it? Can't quite tell from here. It's actually my Merinoi Spear that are fighting to the death. They've actually broken, unfortunately. Balance of power, uh, pardon me, is even. I've got this feeling I'm going to be retreating from this battlefield, unfortunately. If only I had siege equipment. Control keeps changing between the the two factions of who's currently uh, holding this the uh, the gatehouse. We've got another unit fighting to the death. Oh, a bit laggy when I go zooming in like that. More uh, Merinoi spears are routing. 
have bloodied them though. We've killed 10%, they've killed 32. We're killing a lot less than they're killing of me. I may have to retreat. I actually think I will retreat. Come to think of it, I would rather retreat and save my units. It was a risk. It was a big risk trying to play this battle. It was a massive risk. I shouldn't have done it. I've learnt my lesson. I should not have fought this battle. And unfortunately, I've cost myself dearly, I think. I'm just going to fast forward, let my men rout and escape the battlefield. But yeah, that's terrible. I mean, they... I didn't quite have enough. I did say I shouldn't attack Trim this early on yet. I did. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Foolishly. Well, they have Levy Spearman chasing me, which is uh, uh, ironic to see. My lord, only half our force remains. Just trying to disperse as quickly as I can. They are actually chasing some of my men right now. I don't have nothing left that I can take these spearmen out with. I would be tempted to try and take them out if I could, but I don't think that's going to happen. As they chase us over here. As we run to the edge of the world. The edge of the battlefield. There we go. Gwent Raiders routed there. Tactical retreat seems like a decent idea, I think. And the line's actually a long way from where we are right now. Don't think they're going to catch me, though. I would hope they wouldn't catch me. They're not going to. We should be fine. This guy is not routing for some reason. You better route, my friend. What are you doing? Where are you going, you idiot? Pray something changes in the course of battle. My but god, this guy actually got caught up. And that should be the end of the battle. We've all... We've all routed. Surely. We've all routed. This guy can't find the edge of the map. There he is. Nearly there. Boom. There's the rest of them. I've seen tried to make it over the line. Excellent. So, crushing defeat. They've only lost 76. That's what I'm saying. I shouldn't have fought that. That was stupid. Big massive blunder by me early in this uh, yes, Irish sir. campaign. But this implies we fear and we've retreated back to Dublin. So I've still got my king, of course. Command and me, I've got, I've actually got some bombards that I can use now. Oh, it's actually... Where did this rebel army come from? Holy shit, you just appeared from nowhere, my friends. Prisoner's been released, that's uh, useful. Interesting stuff indeed. And of course, so. I can try and get something with the Irish now. So let's... What is it you wish to let's, talk about? You wish to vibe. Was a settlement? No, it wouldn't. Okay. How about an alliance? Oh shit! They got it. Alliance. It's generous trade. Um. Can you give me a region by any chance? Can you give me cork? Can you give me? I'm, I'm gonna try and get something from them. Tipperary. It's a long, long way to Tipperary. It's only demanding. So what if I offer you some money? I give you map information. I also will give you money. Where's the money? Except Toby will attack. Demanding. I want your map information. An alliance trade right for your map information. That's a good one, I think. I wouldn't mind some money. Can you give me a tribute of, say, a thousand? only balanced. Okay, I am being a bit too demanding there. How about, say, 500? Balanced. I'll try that one. Oh, you bastards. Oh, no, I've lost them. Can't get anything with the Irish. Bollocks. I cannot do that, Have to sire. wait until next turn. Damn, damn, damn. Fortunately, I got this reinforced army here joining Dublin. We'll try and take Trim next time. And I'm going to be launching my assault now, I think, on uh, the Baron's Alliance. So I'm just looking around to see where everything is placed. Ready for that. Lots of stuff there. 
Bristol Bay. Tired of ordering your own and, uh, forces about, eh, sire? Right, we're in a good position, I think. Let's just uh, check our diplomacy and stuff very quickly. They haven't got... They're, only, they're allied with Norway. Scotland are at war with Norway. England are at war with Ireland. Okay, so a few things are in my favour. Let's do it in that case. I declare war on you. You bastards. English bastards. Maintain siege. What the hell? You can't attack them, mate. What the hell? Why can't you attack shit? You won't attack that one, but you'll attack that one. He's got to go around. That's bullshit. I hate that fact you can't get in that fort. Oh, yes, you can. Now you can attack. That's better. Jesus, that was hard work, that was. Water resolves in my favour. I want to use those cannons. Let's use the cannons. Although, with that being said, yeah, let's fight. Now we're going to auto. Oh, I don't want to do. Auto resolve because it's now favour. Oh, fuck's sake. Why did I do that? Why did I auto resolve that bullshit? Going back to Carlisle at least, and at least that fort will stop them getting through. I should have fought that battle. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going to stay at the bridge with the king to try and draw them out. Let's attack these. Auto resolve. Close victory, I'll do. Man of the hour, Captain Melier. Ma uh, Captain Melier. 20 year old. Because some good traits there, we'll get you as a captain. Can't get any mercenaries, but we're in a position now where you're surrounded from here on the bridge here. If you want to have a bridge battle, fight me there. And if you want to have a siege battle, fight me at the fort. I can reinforce, pull things up and down. And eventually, hopefully, I'm hoping that in the next part, all of the Barons Alliance can be done and dusted in in one turn, if at all possible. I was hoping to win this one here, but we've got enough with, we should have enough with Carl Island with the fort to take on these two captains. And Ireland, of course, I will try and get that um, alliance with yes, them in the next I part as well. That, and we'll try and recover and lick our wounds from Trim. But I'm going to end the episode here. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.